Hey guys, and welcome to Dr. Dummy episode 4. Um, I've had such a huge response for these videos that people want them done uh, that I had to hire an intern. Um, he's, 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 a, he's a hard worker. He's pretty adorable in his little outfit. Um, yeah. Anyways. Uh, so because I've had such a huge response for these videos, um, I do have to sort of narrow down the amount of people. Uh, and what I have to do is, if your build is too similar to a build I have already done, I'm just going to refer you to that video instead. Um, so now when I ask if you, or when people ask me, sorry, if they are going to want their build looked at, I need to know a few extra things. I'm going to need to know your name and game name your server and the the build you are playing as well as if you are going to be spending um, any real world money on the build so anyways guys let's get into dr dummy episode four achilles okay as always we are going to start by looking at the rune board we're going to do a broad spectrum check and see if there's anything immediately that I notice. And then I will go through individually with each uh, area and give my recommendations. Uh, I'll get them all together and then put it down. And we'll end up with a TLDR at the end if you just want to skip to that. Okay, so we know he's using Frost Strike with the Element version. A lot of people are converting it to physical and he is not. Um, so that's obviously something we're going to be looking at. Right out of the gate, I know he's doing some good stuff here. He's got Warrior Shadow, which is a really strong thing right now. Uh, he's got Fighting Spirit, which is also very, very strong. Uh, the one thing I immediately noticed that he does not have is Grand Approach. Uh, Grand Approach is incredibly strong in these melee-type builds um, because it gives a ton of damage amp, as well as giving you a huge amount of life leap. Um, and then... Because of that, you don't have to worry about getting life leech in other areas, and you can really, really narrow it down. Um, he's using melee damage amplification. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. It is pretty solid. We are going to look to make sure there's not something better. Um, but melee damage amp is very strong. Um, focus strike, I see a lot of people using, and I'm not entirely sure uh, if there's something I'm missing with it. But it is definitely not one of my first choices. Again, we are going to go through and look. Um, grip Strength is very strong. Um, I, I personally like Grip Strength, but I like it because it not only gives you some stuff, but it gives you 42 block expertise, which is really good, especially as a melee fighter. Um, there are stronger, like more damage amp uh, link runes you could be using, but this is very strong across the board. Now, the only one here that I'm really questioning um, is Maximize Damage Increase. Now, Maximize Damage Increase can definitely be a very good Link Rune, depending on what your... Uh, the... Uh, your triple damage chance is. If you have a good triple damage chance, obviously you can uh, benefit from this. Uh, but we'll look. We'll take a look at that when we narrow it down. Okay, uh... He's running a lot of toggles, okay, which is totally okay. I run a lot of toggles too. Uh, got Thunderbolt, obviously for the shock effect. Using the extract energy on that, obviously he's getting lightning. Got Illusion Axe with fire damage. Again, extract energy, so he's extracting fire energy. And he's got Blood Explosion, uh, which is probably getting... I'm not even sure where he's getting his blades from to cause blood explosion to go off i will again maybe maybe as i look at this closer we'll see uh but he's got blood explosion extracting poison energy uh because it's converted to poison so it's extracting uh he's got all of them connected to dampen resource cost which is always always good and uh, these two down here now personally i don't feel like enduring pain really holds up i i've personally dropped it from my melee build um, I don't really feel like it's particularly effective. Um, obviously, I you know, 
if they like it, they should continue to use it. But I, I don't feel like this melee damage increase, 30% of last damage hit well taken. It, I don't feel like overall this skill has held up well as the game has progressed. Um, now, using Seal of Element Resist, uh, we can check right away if he needs that. And currently, it looks like he actually does. So that's definitely a solid choice. What else have we got here? Moving, got move speed of penetrating slash. Uh, it's a very strong bit skill in the build. Uh, it's odd that he's got reverse time on it rather than some other things. Um, but we'll see as we get some space if we can make that penetrating slash more effective. Running Shadow Provocation, which is, again, generally a very, very strong choice. Uh, personally, I don't like it with buff activation uh, when hit. Personally, I'd like to put it on movement activation so you can force it to activate and keep it up all the time. Especially since he does have full uptime on this with these. What I think is probably going to happen here is we end up moving penetrating slash to where seal of striking is. Putting the movement thing and then connecting and then opening up here and trying to get some more stuff onto the penetrating. Um, Fighter's Wrath, obviously a very good choice for this build. He's got, again, all the right stuff connected to it. Absolutely wonderful. And he's got the uh, totem activation when using Enhanced Skill with a Weakened Totem, which, again, is a very, very strong choice. Um, got buff activation on hit with Siphon Life. Again, I don't know how effective um, Siphon Life is in here. Uh, and I, I'm get I can see the chat moving. <laughs> People are asking, are saying things. I'm gonna read that when I stop. I promise. Uh, again, I don't know how much this build needs to have uh, life, uh, but I personally don't feel like Siphon Life is a good choice here. But again, as I look deeper into the build, I could be entirely wrong. Um, buff activation on crowd control into Shadow Justice almost always going to be in every build a very strong choice two links to get you out of uh some really tight jam uh source is that the okay so it's rapid seal with the condensed elements nothing wrong with that at all again he's got some good choices on here um and the seal is striking as verity uh which is just resource cost reduction overall uh it does look like a very strong setup. Um, there's not a lot of things I am going to recommend directly. Um, so now I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to break down some stuff and read the stuff that the chat is saying. And then I will come back and do a more close once over and do the section of the video. Okay. After consulting with chat and learning a few things more about the build, um, let's talk about my suggested changes. Now, initially I talked about that I don't quite understand uh, why Focus Strike is in here. <clears throat> and Focus Strike is in here because it is equivalent of the confidence or quick attack for blow type builds. Blow build, and this works really well apparently with that. I was unaware of that, I've never played one, and again, these videos are as much to help me as to help the player base, um, because I hope you learn from me. Um, so that that is the only thing that I really learned here. All of this is actually really solid, um, I don't believe there's any changes that should be made. Again, the maximized damage uh, increase is really only going to be effective if he continues to increase his critical or his triple damage chance and double damage chance. Um, which I believe he is going to do. Anyway. Um, the... Said... Wasn't sure about... Oh, the Siphon Life. Because I had mentioned uh, Grand Approach at Link Rune. Apparently, Grand Approach doesn't work particularly well with this build. Because even though it's a melee build, you're actually kind of far away. Um, and Grand Approach apparently doesn't get uh, its Life Leech effect unless you're close. <clears throat> I did not know that because I play a, a melee that is very, very close range. Uh, so this is a good choice here using Life and Life. Um, I still want to recommend putting Penetrating Slash here and linking it with movement so that you can keep 
full uptime on this. Um, he did, yeah, from the original thing, he changed <clears throat> versatility to uh, decrease duration, which I believe is a better choice. Uh, you're going to lose a little bit of duration, but you're going to gain more effect from it. And these already have a short duration. Uh, so X percent of that duration for so much more effect is going to personally, I feel like, be a, a better choice. Um, because you don't need a lot of duration typically with these. If you're fighting something like an elite, you just need a little more boost to get rid of it. Uh, it doesn't need to stay for a long time, and you end up with this uh, dead spot after you use it where the dangerous enemy that you were worried about is gone, and now the timer's still ticking. You're still getting that boost, but um, if the timer reset, if it finished and started counting uh, the cooldown, it would be qu more quickly ready for the next enemy. Uh, so that was a good choice. Um, what was the other things? So these two down here, uh, <clears throat> personally, I would drop both of these. Uh, I would move Seal of Striking down here, and I would get a Seal of Physical Domain uh, and put it here and link those two. Uh, Enduring Pain is honestly not worth the effort. Uh, I did suggest two other options for putting something in its place instead of Seal of Physical Domain. You could use... Veil of Protection for uh, ranged attacks. Uh, as, as, a, as I said, you're he's playing this build as a slightly more ranged version. Uh, so the melee attacks aren't going to be the problem. But the uh, physical projectiles, arrows and stuff are going to be an issue. Uh, obviously, the other option is the... I don't remember the name of it now. The, the minion one. I can't remember. There's a minion thing that when you have it on, uh, while it's awakened and stuff, you gain a 20% move speed. Um, if he wants the move speed over any of the other things, that would be the other thing here. The rest of this is really well set up, especially after looking more through the build. Uh, so he's getting his physical from uh, the Zodiac, which is why he's getting uh, this as fire and then this as poison. So the, overall, the build has a very, very, very strong base. Um, there was very little in the rune board I thought need changes. But there we go. I talked about those. Um, I did talk about removing reverse time. He says he likes it. Personally, I feel like reverse time has never really been particularly effective. And it's just taking up a slot. But if he enjoys it, he should stick with it. Okay, that's my recommendations for the rune board. Let's move on. Okay. Let's look at the gear now and uh, see what we can see. And I'm not particularly familiar with the build, so I'm sure people are going to be yelling at me in chat. Uh, but let's look through and see if we can find some of the solutions to other things, uh, like the low resistances. I'm sure we can fix them in here so that we're not using this, and then we can make better use of the defensive toggle. Uh, so weapon... Looks solid to me. I don't think there's anything in particular uh, that I that I know that this thing needs. Overall, it's got a lot of the good stuff. It's got the flat cold. It's got attack damage, converted to cold, speed, gear, critical rate, crit, attack damage. This is what I would put on my weapons. Uh, you got attack damage. You got killer on there. Overall, very, very solid. Um, it's got 32% quality. I don't see any reason this to be. I think it's... Uh, helmet... Uh, you've gone with the enhanced stuff, which is obviously really good. Amp, that very good there because the crit damage is so low. The only thing I would suggest, and I don't know, uh, again, I don't know the thing well enough, would be keep the crit damage and use the enhanced skill room cooldown speed to go for overpower effect. Again, maybe you're not using overpower, but overpower is really strong. Um, and it's probably going to give you more than this would on its own. Uh, again, I could be wrong. This is my first look, uh, so I don't really know. Got some element resist on there, which is fine. Gear armor, which is obviously okay. Uh, onto the necklace. Critical damage, critical, cold damage. 
attack speed, pulverize effect. Yep, because you're doing physical. Um, this is very good to get. Chance to gain damage amp. Again, solid necklace. You know, no real complaints here. Obviously, empty star jewel. Can't blame you there. Element damage. Overall, I, I you know, very solid necklace. No, no major flaws uh, that I can see. On two shoulders. Done with the chaos res. Now, your chaos res. Okay, yeah, I guess you can keep chaos res there. Um, element pen. Choice. I, I saw that your element pen is at 65. That's if if it's not necessary, if you do have from other sources, you could re-roll this into something else, like the Venom Dodge chance or something could become something good. Other than that, rest of it looks good. Nothing too uh nothing too great to write home about here. Uh fire energy effect. Uh while fire energy effect is strong. Unless you're gaining uh, 10 fire energy, and again, I don't know, I haven't looked too deep, uh, but if you're not gaining the extra fire energy, this isn't nearly as effective. But again, I don't know. We'll, as we look through more, we'll see. Um, resource cost belts, pretty standard. Bomb around the barrier there. Critical rate, uh, I haven't looked at Attack crit rate. Okay, so yeah, you do need that attack crit rate probably. Chill dodge chance. I, I see you got uh you you probably got boned there. Uh obviously in many situations the peddler's potion belt, if you can gain it, would be good. There is if you're having mana trouble, you know, I'm gonna check the chat in a second. If you're having any kind of mana trouble, you can do a dual authority and get the minus seven. Uh, which is a huge help if you're having that problem. I don't think you are. Uh, so this belt is probably solid on its own. Um, again, it's not particularly great in any way, uh, but it is a solid belt it, it, for at least a start for sure. Attack damage rune, element damage amp, hold chaos, hit points, armor. I mean, solid beginner, like straight chest piece. Immune to freeze is really nice. 6.2 hit point amp is really nice. Uh, again, the fire energy uh, really depends on if you're getting more than just the 5. Uh, it's not nearly as strong getting the fire energy effect if you're not getting 10 of them. Uh, but for the moment, I again, I haven't... My first look, don't, uh, don't tell it me. Okay, stats belt, or stats ring. Stats is good. Cold damage, good choice. Crit damage, yep, yep. Overpower, overpower. Yep. Very solid ring. Um, kind of got boned on the legendaries again. Damage amp, annihilation. Good stuff. Sol solid ring. Um, again, it does make me question the... Yeah, back here. I, I would definitely recraft this to get the overpower effect, personally. I think you'll get more out of overpower effect than this 3%. Plus, you'll be gaining back the, like, I don't even know, 17% crit damage, which isn't bad. Um, I could be wrong, but that's what I would do. Uh, the other ring, cast source refraction, I mean, no complaints. It's, it's a very solid ring. Um... Poison energy effect is very confusing. Uh, I think you probably have that in there because you are concerned about your attack speed. Um, I don't know if you are reaching your cast speed cap, or I'm going to say interchangeably, attack speed cap. Um, but I don't think this is probably, I think you, I mean, if anything, you'd go with fire energy. Uh, but the ring itself, obviously. Loves. Full damage, attack speed. Yep. Maximize damage. Unless you're going to go for the crazy uh, dual flat gloves. These are, are very solid. Cheap trick for the attack speed again. Yep. Not a problem there. Um, damage win. Yep. Element pen. Yep. Uh, good gloves. <laughs> they're, they're solid. Uh, movement. Resource cost. Again, I do think maybe you're having a slight mana problem. And it might be worth trying to do 
the dual authority minus seven belt. Uh, and then you can do other things with the, some of these other modifiers. Um, but let's look here. Attack enhanced skill rune effect. Obviously good. Move speed, area damage, melee damage. Really good boot. Um, hit rate. We already uh, talked about the hit rate. Uh, but overall, very good. I mean, your gear is very, very solid. Um, I don't have any major recommendations just by looking at it. Again, I'm going to break off and cut and do a look through, and then I'll come back after. But uh, what you got so far is pretty solid. Uh, with the gear, I have recommended to switch this critical damage uh, craft to either the enhanced skill rune effect, because it's tier 13, and do it with uh, overpower effect, or overpower effect on here. Or best case scenario, you hit overpower on one of these, and then the high craft hits the other overpower, which would be super great. Um, on the chest, I recommend dropping this here to get a third resistance. In this case, poison resistance is lowest, would be the best case to get. Um, and then getting overpower effect from the attack. Obviously, losing the 6.2% hit point amp here isn't super ideal, but... Uh, but I think the getting your resistances sorted out is probably a better thing in the long run. Uh, outside of that, the rest of the gear is very solid. Uh, and I don't personally know the build well enough to make any bigger suggestions. So what he's got, I think, does really well. In the Zodiac, um, we had made a change where he had had three points from here, uh, from damage upon attack, down through attack speed into killer. Uh, getting him... 10% uh, damage on attack, 15% critical damage, 10% crit rate, and 3% attack speed, and moving those three points up into what is probably the most important for a crit build, uh, elaborate attack. Uh, so he gained damage, and he gained a huge amount of crit rate uh, from this. Very, very important in crit build. Um, I don't think there was anything else in here uh, aside from getting better Zodiac stones, I think the rest of it is really well put together. He did a great job. In his avatars, um, he's using Mental Stimulation with the Skill Room Cooldown Recovery and Mental Stimulation Effect. Very good choice as an active. Um, using the Chaos Resist, because this Chaos Resist is a little low, this is shoring it up quite nicely. Uh, the only thing I found was that he had Avatar of Leo... Uh, his, uh, he had avatar damage here, um, which is probably left over from something else, and he had just not switched it. Uh, switching it to an enhance attack speed, which gives him attack speed and move speed increase, which is really nice. Outside of that, he's done really well here and with both of them. Uh, the only other places he, uh, we're going to make a change is in his mastery. And... Really, the only change we're going to make is in his weapon. Now, this is something, again, I was brought to my attention from Hilgi. Uh, using a two-handed weapon, this first bonus is actually very, very strong because two-handed weapons have such a high damage value that getting this um, up high is going to do more for you than getting more crit rate in this case uh, versus the weapon crit rate. As well as, you can get crit rate in a lot of places. Getting weapon damage um, is not particularly something easy to do. Uh, so he's going to make the change to that. I don't know how many points ideally he should put in there. Um, I'm going to leave that up to Hilgi. <laughs> but, but definitely this is the way to go as opposed to trying to get a little more crit. Especially with the, ch the, the change that we have made to uh, Elaborate Attack. Um, in his gear... If he can get an elaborate attack black jewel somewhere, that could really help his crit rate as well. Overall, the build is very, very solid. I don't really have a lot of um, advice to give in this case, um, which is actually kind of nice for a, uh, you know, for once in a while. Uh, so with that said, um, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, and it, sorry it wasn't a particularly long one or super detailed or anything. If you have the similar build, uh, hopefully some of the changes that I've suggested or things I've talked about in here 
are going to be helpful for you. And if uh, you want your build to be featured and have me look at it, let me know. But again, please let me know your name, your character name, your server, and what type of build you have. If it is too similar to something I am already uh, done videos for or I'm planning to do a video for, I'm just going to reference you to this. Outside of that, guys, I hope you're enjoying the game. Uh, I hope you're excited for the update on the 20th. I know I am. Um, I'm going to go play the game itself now, I guess.